hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back to another episode. I'm finally back home, and I'm here to record again. Um, it is kind of late already today. <laughs> I was going to record today and tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I've just been so busy since we got back from our trip. I've been like putting stuff away and making sure we're like getting back in the groove, washing like clothes, doing laundry, all that stuff. So hey, I hope that I can stay up all night. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but I'm hoping that I can record a little bit tonight and then some tomorrow afternoon and then edit to put like a two day thing up for you guys since it's been a while. But I appreciate you still watching the episodes and being here with me. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you've been doing well and let's just get right into it. So I made like a little, like a couple notes of like what I want to do in today's episode, but we're obviously going to have to get the last piece of carols. So that's going to have to be on the list for today. <laughs> let's go. I'm just, I was literally like what I did this, this weekend or while I, while I was in Florida, didn't really do much. I probably played about four or five hours total. I did a lot of Slayer. Hold on, I'm gonna put on my blanket because I'm very cold. Went from being like 80 degrees in Florida to like freezing rain here. Uh, not fun. <laughs> I will say that. So I did some herb. I did some, uh, some potion mixing. I also got really, really close to 99 attack, but I wanted to save that for the video. So I, I just got close with my Slayer. I unlocked Abbey Demons, and my first Abbey Demon task, I got a whip at 49 kills. And then I got another one at 73 kills, so Bodhi would be so happy. Um, but I literally, I got like 400 points while I was gone, or like 4,000 4, points while I was gone. And I think it was just me skilling. It was like doing Slayer and stuff like that, so it wasn't really too exciting and I know I said I was going to train my ranged and my magic and my fishing and I ended up not doing that. I just did Slayer. That was it. <laughs> so didn't really miss, didn't really miss much. So but yeah, like I said, I, I didn't do really anything. Just Slayer. So I'm just going to prepare for a Barrow's Run. I also made an Amulet of Glory because I got a Dragon Stone from... What I get a dragon stone from? I'm trying to remember. I cannot recall. Um, I got item and boots too. From something. I think it might have been like a like a mini game or something. I don't know. It's gone forever. The dragon stone. Oh, I also got these dark totems, which I don't know what they are. So we're going to do some research on that today. And then I'm going to grab my whip to kill them with. I don't know it's, if it's better or faster, but I, I'm interested to test it out. So we're going to do that together. Take my spade out. Man, it's been a while, so I don't remember really what I what I bring. I don't really need prayer pots. That's right. I only bring like three prayer pots and like super attacks. I need to make more super strengths, but I don't have any limp words. I got some corms, but I need to farm some limp words. I have a bunch of limp word seeds, so maybe that's what I should do. Go on a farm run first and then go to Barrows. Let's do that, actually. Let's just do that. Let's take some limbwort seeds. Let's take, I need to do a Calqua tree in um, Karamja for that task. And then we're going to take barley seeds so we can do a um, magic tree or a bird seed, bird house, one of those things. <laughs> Run. I'm going to take the toad flax with me. And then what else? What else? What else? What else? We can do... 
In the allotment patch, we can do snake grass. I only got one. Not gonna worry about it. Um, okay, bird houses. We'll get five of these. We'll take the hammer and the chisel and the dig site pendant. So I'll do that first. But yeah, it's it's been it's been so long. I it feels really nice to be playing again. Um, like I said, I made a, like a list of things that I want to accomplish in like the first couple of days. I didn't want to bombard myself too much with things to do. I was just trying to find out like what tasks I can do to be able to get tier eight as soon as possible. So I wrote down, I think like 2000 tasks, 2000 points worth in tasks to do between the next couple of episodes so that we can get tier eight this week. But I think just through basic training as well, we might be able to get there. So like one of them, for example, is a magic tree, magic birdhouse. So that just means I need magic logs and then I need the level 74 hunter. And then I most definitely have the yeah 75 crafting. I just need 74 hunter and I can do that one. That's another task out of the way. There's just so many that you don't really have to think about and you just get them. So, oh, my stomach growled. All right, now, or Bren. Let me put this in there. I need a dibber, don't I? Yeah, a trowel. I could not believe I got two whips in my first Abdemon task. I don't even know what my task is right now. Black dragons in the catacombs of Korend, which I don't really know where that is. I thought it was in like the statue with Korind Castle. But, oh, my spade got taken out. Why did I do that? Um, but yeah, I thought it was in the, the thing with Corn Castle, but it's not. Ugh. Hey, my spade. I couldn't find the black dragons there anywhere, so I don't know where it is. Oh my god, I got a palm tree seed though. But I keep, I'm hoping for a uh, magic tree seed so that I can finally continue my... Farming contract. Let's see, where's the next drainer manor? Also, my belladonna seed died again, so we gotta farm a belladonna seed again. I feel like there's a trick to it. There has to be something that I have to do to the drainer manor patch so that the the belladonna doesn't die. Maybe I'm just that bad. I don't know. It just says pick some belladonna from the farming patch. You need 63 farming, and that's it. Oh, I have no idea. It's really bothering me where I, I'm trying to think of where I got that uncut dragon stone. Because I got one and then I cut it and then I got another one from Production Prodigy. And then I made it into a dragon stone amulet, which, mean, which meant that I got another one from <laughs> Production Prodigy. <laughs> and then I made an amulet of glory. I made like three amulet of glories. And then I charged them at the Heroes Guild, which was another like 40 points, I think, or like 80 points, I don't recall. Oh, I got a Hespori seed, we can plant that too. I also have to plant the, um, the Anima seeds that I got, because that's another task, but I don't think, I don't know if I have the level for, ah, oh, I forgot to get the rake. Anima, 76. Oh, I can do it. I got ISOR, so I can do it now. I'll go to the bank and do that right now. I don't really care about the bu the buff that it gives. I mean, it's good for the regular game, but this I don't really mind, so I'm just gonna not really time it. Okay, it doesn't need Ultra Compost. There we go. And now the last patch is in Troll Stronghold. I wish I can go up there. 
It really shouldn't require the Fremenic tasks, but I also have on my list a bunch of quests to do. This week I'm not very excited about it. I don't really want to think about it, but I'm just letting you guys know. I got a lot of quests on the to-do list, so... Look forward to that. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, we get to go back to Barrows. I don't know if you're excited about it. I forgot to put the secateurs back, but that's okay. Oh, we didn't do the Calquat sampling. Let's go do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. And then we can turn in our magic secateurs. Because this is both a Karamja hard task. I don't know if it's a task, ta like a leaks task, but I know it is a hard Karamja task. I feel so nice when things don't like attack you anymore, like from when you were a noob. Like these spiders. Oh, it's so cold. Now we prep for barrows. Please just let us get it on the first kill. That'd be great. Can you imagine? Also, I learned that the special makes them siphons their run energy so it's not really that good to use i just got 98 hp so it means we're probably gonna get 99 attack and 98 hp in this episode depends how much combat i do i guess if i don't get 99 hp this episode will definitely be next episode but i don't know i've been really enjoying slayer I tried to get a hellhounds task and then when i finally got one she gave it to me in taverly dungeon and I don't know where Cerberus is. And I can boost for it, but I think I might wait until... Um... 92 Slayer. So I don't have to boost. And so I can, it gives me time to like... <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have an offhand? <laughs> oh my god, it's over! 193 kills. <laughs> I literally said, can it be just the first kill so we're gonna be done with this? And then it gave it to me. <laughs> it just needed me to be away from the computer for a week and then come back and then give it to me. I cannot believe this. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I literally geared to be there for like at least an hour, but I'll take it. I will take it. I am very, very happy now. Um, <laughs> okay, so I made like a little notepad of like the biggest achievements that I accomplish in leagues and that's going on the list. So today is December 10th, Barrow's Log completed. <laughs> it's green! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. Honestly, now that it's done, I didn't really get that many duplicates. Like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen out of twenty-four that were duplicates. It's over. I am gonna get that notebook that I wrote down the different tasks that I want to ac accomplish in this episode. So I'll be right back. All right, I got me a little snack. I got a banana and I got some leftover vegan oatmeal raisin cookies. I um, haven't really eaten much today, so see, I made a list. <laughs> I was really bored. Um, 
one night when I couldn't fall asleep, Tuesday night, I was killing Abby Demons and this is what I was doing while I was doing that. I was like looking through the list and figuring out what to do. So I wrote a list of tasks and then on the plane flight back, I used that list of tasks that I wrote down to make like a brief outline of what we're going to be doing in the next coming episodes. So first we can check off finish Barrow's Carol set. Check. So next one is finish Mori Easies with watermelon and claim both the Easies and the medium rewards. So we're going to take the watermelon. We're going to take a bronze spear and a we need to put a hay bale so we need to get a sack where do I get a sack from sack Alice's farming shop in Mortania I think this is the closest farming shop to a teleport that I have right now the only other ones I can think of are like Falador Farm, um, Corind, like Hosidius section. So I think this is probably the fastest. I'm gonna go back to the bank. And we're gonna go to Lumbridge just so we can unnote this. I believe I have to put it in the. Oh, you know what I did not do while I was on my herb run? I didn't plant any limp words. Love that for me. Now we use the haystack on this and the haystack on the watermelon to make a scarecrow. We use a scarecrow on the thing. We did the easies. We're gonna go to Cannabis to talk to Le Saber and get our mediums and our easy rewards. You know what? I want to do more. I'm going to do runecrafting because I feel like runecrafting is going to be kind of annoying. Um, and smithing is kind of high already. What did I need for the hards? Harvest some bitter cap mushrooms. Okay, are they ready? They are ready. We're going to go runecrafting again. Right now, Mauritania legs, they teleport me to Bergdorot Ectofunctus too. What else do they do, I wonder? Martinia legs. Three. Fifty percent chance of a gap. Is this when I'm wearing them or just five do the teleports to the slime pit beneath the ectofunctus? Acts as a ghost speak amulet. Robin offers twenty-six free buckets of slime each day. Is it noted? Noted bones are not accepted. Double more Meyer fungi when casting bloom. 50% more prayer from burning shades. Access to the shortcut across the estuary on mostly harmless. 50% more runes from Barrow's chests. 7.5% more slayer experience. Bone crusher, an item that when carried automatically crushes bone drops and provides half the prayer experience you would have gotten for burying them. Ooh. The bone crusher is claimed from the ghost disciple at the ectofunctus and is charged with a small amount for ecto tokens. I might do that so that I don't have to keep picking up bones and I could probably get 99 prayer that way. I don't know how many ecto tokens I have, but we're going to see how much it would cost. Is that also a task? Woo woo woo. Okay, well. Can I have another bone crusher, please? Oh, thank you. I have to charge it with ecto tokens. Okay. I only have 74. Is that going to give me enough charges? 1800 charges. Is it for all bones? And then if I don't want to do it, then I can just turn them off. Interesting. Do I have to have the legs on, I wonder? I do not. 
I just have so much in so much banks, like 80, 804 spots. I need to start getting rid of some stuff. You feel me? Okay. Let me take these and let me scratch off what we did. We did more easies. Fine. See, I made I made today very very short because I thought that I would. I made today very very short because I thought I would get. It would take me a while to get the Carol set. So, well, let's defeat an Abbey Demon in Mauritania. Let's do that. Take me to. Star Tower, please. I also need to get the, let's go back. I need to get the Belladonna Seed, so let me get my Slayer gear on and we can kill some Abbey Demons. I mean, uh, Abbey Spectres and the Abbey Demon. Let's kill some Abbey Spectres first. Oh my gosh, I'm so strong now. Holy cow. Bone Crusher probably does not work with Ashes. That's, I think that's Ectoplasmator. If that's even a thing in Old School, I'm not sure, but... I'm just gonna kill these till I get a Belladonna Seed. Okay, I finally got the Belladonna Seed. I guess my character wanted to kill another one. Kill him so fast now. I missed out on the Aventil, but that's okay. So we're going to point the Abelladonna for the fourth time. And hope that it actually does not die again. Um, I did cast the Resurrect Crops spell and it failed again. And then we can go kill the Abbey Demon. I don't even know where they are. Never killed him here before, so. Alrighty. What's down there, I wonder? I can't believe how fast I killed him. That would have been funny if I got another. Okay. So we're gonna scratch that off. We're gonna farm the Belladonna seed again. We did that. Complete quests for Valley Mediums and complete Medium Varrock tasks. That is the next thing on the list. So that means that we need to do Skippy and the Mogers and Recruitment Drive. So, fun stuff. Recruitment Drive. I don't think I need anything. I could do Black Knight's Fortress. And it is a lot easier to do this quest when you're not having to... <laughs> Avoid the level 33 knights trying to attack you. You can just walk right through and they, they don't even care. They're like, oh, she's level 120. I'm not going to bother her. She's like the captain of this place. I remember doing this quest on my main account and this part was annoying that I had to do the conversation and oh, I guess now they want to attack me, but uh, over here. This quest is pretty much done, and then we can... Oh, I didn't bring cabbage. That's okay. I come right back. I forgot when I put the kebab in that I needed to take the cabbage to... Oh, I have the, the infamous chicken fox and the green one. There's actually like a TikTok... Um, oops. There's a TikTok filter where it's like a cop and the criminal and you have to cross the river with both the um, fox, I mean the cop and the criminal, but if you leave with just the cop, the criminal runs away. Uh, and it's, it's basically this part of this quest. And I did it like my first try because this <laughs> is like such an iconic quest from, from RuneScape, so. Oh wait, don't cross yet. Take the chicken. I almost forgot. <laughs> As I said that. Now we're gonna drop the chicken. Okay, so it's gonna be a silver one and it's gonna be... 
Not the scythe, not the mace, not the... It's going to be a sword. Silver sword. Ugh, we have to do the, the key one. I hate this one. It's not that bad, though, with the quest guide. This actually makes it so much easier. Holy cow. We have completed the quest. Now we have found our respawn point. We don't need that, though. Um, and now... We can do the Skippy... Skippy and the Mogers. Bucket of milk, chocolate dust, bucket of water, nettle tea, snake grass. My yew tree died. That's very unfortunate. Alright, that's done. There was no confirmation or anything that I finished it, but... Um, we can now do all of these things. And then... We have to do Grim Tales. I might as well just do Grim Tales. That way we can do the hearts. So we can start fighting the mole. I gotta do Witch's House. Oh. Alright, we're gonna do Witch's House and then Grim Tales, which I've never done before, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to read the lore because that's I'm saving that for the main game, like I've said about a bajillion times. I'm sure you guys get the gist. You catch my drift, so... Man, I remember getting caught here so much because I was so impatient. I did not want to wait for her to just, like, not see me. <laughs> I get caught so many times. So just waiting. I, I hate waiting for things. I don't know why I'm like that. Like, whenever they have things like this in RuneScape, it's so common, but I always get caught a lot. On these types of puzzles. I don't really understand this quest. But maybe when I read the lore, I will. Up the ball. Why did it spawn again? It looks so weird. Yeah. Return the ball to the boy. Make sure the witch doesn't spot you. I can't teleport out? That's lame. Where's she at? Next time, I hope this teaches him not to kick his ball over the fence. Kick it the other direction. I want you to bet when the quest is done, he's going to kick it over there. 101k HP. Why did that quest give me HP? Now let's go to Grim Tales. Never done this. I see Dipper, watering can, any axe, combat, I kill something 131. All right, let's go to trainer. It's gonna give me a lot of XP, it's nice. I'm glad I waited to do quests for this 16 times. I'm just gonna bring my void, I always bring my void for stuff that I don't wanna use charges. All right, so we're gonna get the seed dibber. I'm gonna use watering can. Well, we have to go to Leprechaun anyway, so I'm just going to get it from that. Terramin Potion. I have two Terramin, and I have two vials of water, and then I have an axe. I'm probably not going to bring food. Okay, I haven't done this quest yet, so I haven't read the dialogue, but this is so funny. I just climbed up his beard, so it's like Rapunzel, but a guy. That's... That's just perfect. I <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Now we're going to climb back down his beard. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to talk to this lady over here. How do you even pronounce that? Miazerkwa. Miazerka. I remember there being a quest like this in RS3, but I don't think it's called Grim Tales. I think it's called something else. Because I remember doing this. Like this type of quest. It is called Grim. Those coins are huge. It's like the um the big cockroaches. I don't know if it's a thing in old school, but in RS3, uh, south of the barbarian village, there is like a trap door you can go down, and there's a bunch of like huge cockroaches down there that you can kill. They're like this size, and while you're normal people size, you know. So. I don't know, I haven't tried to go over there. We built the beanstalk. Wow. We're gonna climb it and we're gonna fight.
Glod. I'm assuming he melees because he's a big guy. I'm just absolutely annihilating him. Definitely gonna have to wait to kill him in uh, um, the main account, but. Fee fi fo fum. I smell. I don't know what he smells, but he smells something. Bring the goblin to the guy entirely. We're gonna climb back down, and the quest is pretty much done. We're gonna get like a big chunk of XP. It's gonna be so awesome. We're gonna get HP, herb, farming, woodcutting, agility, and thieving. That woodcutting XP is gonna be great. Okay, now I have to use the shrinking, the last shrinking potion on the beanstalk. Not be careful not to drink it. And then we're gonna chop it down. Wonder why we shrink it when there's no more giants up there. Do we really need to shrink it? Oof. A million cooking XP. <laughs> A million cooking XP. So 960k. Damn. That was a lot. Okay, well now... Why would he sell gold magic beans now? What do I use this for? Additional hobbits can be obtained by him. Wearing the helmet inside the dwarven mine is required for Falador hard diary. Okay, well let's go to the mines. There you go, I'm glad I read that first. It is somewhat popular to wear to Seracnus, uh, but I have other stuff, so don't mind. Oops. Okay, now let's work on the Falador tasks. Let's work on the Falador tasks. Um, so we're going to place the Scarecrow in the Falador farming patch. So I need to get another. I just literally got rid of all my sacks, but we're going to get another bronze spear. Ooh, I don't have one. Ooh. I believe I can buy them now, right? From Tamayu. Yeah, I can. Watermelon? Oh, I dropped them all. Damn it. Guess we're going on a farm run. Alright, so I just planted all my stuff and I'm going to do all the tasks except for the watermelons. Um, what time should they be done? Uh, where did I plant watermelons? Here. 148, so an hour, an hour-ish from now, they will be done, so. We're gonna do everything but that. Uh, we gotta buy a full set of Initiate. I was just thinking that I'm so excited to be, like, completed with Barrows on Leagues, and how <laughs> even more excited I am to be done with Barrows in the regular game too. I just want to grind all the sets and just never go back there ever again. I do enjoy Barrows, it's a lot of fun, but it's nice that I don't have to go back and I can move on with my life and go on to something else. I need six willow branches and I think the only place I can get that is from planting willow trees. Um, and I dropped all of mine because I didn't know that I needed them, so I need to plant willows we're gonna move on to the next one. And we can't do this one either because we need a scarecrow. So maybe we might not be able to do valley mediums today because we have to plant willow trees. Equip your crossbow and grapple to the Falador party room. Okay, so we finished all the mediums except for the watermelon scarecrow one and the willow branches. So I'm just gonna do as many hard as I can do, and that way I only have two, just like the lumpy ones. <laughs> Literally only two left in the lumpy ones as well. I don't think I'll be awake when the um, Belladonna Seeds is done, because I did kind of change my sleep schedule since I was down there in Florida. Uh, why can't he change it for me? There we go. 
I need money. That's why. Um, but yeah, when I was in Florida, oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff that someone's doing clues. Um, when I was in Florida, I took for granted our blackout curtains here. And the curtains and blinds that they have at my fiance's parents and my parents do not block out the sun. So I was going to bed at like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and waking up at like 8 a.m. And I was not getting much sleep. So, I mean, last night I went to bed at 1 a.m. And I crashed and I woke up at 11. So, who knows, maybe. I, am, I do feel tired, but... I've been really excited to play, so I wanted to play some. I've been playing for like, what, two hours now? So I might go to bed relatively soon, probably like two or three. And then play earlier in the day tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Maybe I might get excited and my task is to kill the giant mole. So let's go do that. <laughs> I went to the wrong place, but that's okay because I need to go to the bank. I didn't bring a spade. Okay, so the last time I did the mole in the main game, I took me 30 minutes, so I don't think it'll take me that long. This time, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna drink these. I hope no one's down there. Oh, I need to bring a light source. I always forget. There's it right there, too. I killed her in two runs. I have to trade these moleskins for... Dun, dun, dun. For stuff, so... How do I get a prospector helmet and all that good stuff? What's next? Go to the Heroes Guild. Oh, I have to kill the blue dragon down there. I literally thought about doing that when I passed by to charge my, um, my glories from the fountain. I was like, oh, look, there's a dragon. Maybe I should kill it. It's probably a task, but I didn't do it. Isn't this the hero's guild? Yeah. Why is it telling me to go further? <laughs> Oh, I can just go through here. Well, it's right here. Never mind. I didn't know I, needed, I could do that crevice because I did it on the, uh... I did it on the iPad, so... I didn't know there was an agility shortcut there. Go to the rogue's den and crack the wall safe. I still haven't done that. I did that in the main game, I guess. Ah, oh, my stuff is degrading, so I'm taking up inventory space. Ah, That's the one bad thing about dupes. I'm gonna take the tiara. I need to empty out my, my, my bank in one of these episodes anyway, so... I'm just gonna have to run there. Unfortunately, I really don't want to, but it is what it is. Okay, don't judge me. But I completely forgot that I can wear the necklace. So I can still teleport and not have to run back and forth. So. <laughs> I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go put the, uh, the the necklace on to teleport me. So I don't have to run because I've gotten very, very spoiled. Oh. I would like to wear it, please. There we go. Now we can teleport to the mind altar. Much better. Much better. I like this a lot. Much more. Alright, so all we have left for hearts is prospector outfit, which I don't know how to do. And then the willow branches and the wa watermelon, which they should be done in the next 45 minutes. So let's see if I even have willow seeds. I should, right? I have four. Okay. So we're going to do that. My limp's already done. Damn. They take like no time at all. I just planted them. I went to Virak 
to plant my willows. And look what's here. Oh my. I need to go get my, my axe. The one willow tree I planted did not die. Please. I mean, I still have to wait for the watermelons, but at least I don't have to wait. I think they take like six to eight hours to grow. Um, but let me read this real quick. It says, uh, you're obtained by using secateurs on a willow, so I don't have to chop it down. Need to wait for new branches to grow. Branches will begin growing after you check the health of the willow tree. The willow will produce one every five minutes, a maximum of six at a time. That means if you wait for more than 30 minutes. Okay, so I have to wait 30 minutes now. Well, I have to wait 30 minutes for the water watermelons anyways, so. That's so nice though. I don't have to. I'm going to go plant them in the other spots then. The spots that died. But that's so awesome. <laughs> Another surprise, I go to, to the Lumbridge tree patch and there's a willow alive here. I don't have to wait. Wait, do I have to do it again? There we go. I guess I have to do it individually for each one. I still have to wait for this, the 30 minutes for the other thing, but at least I'm done. Yay. The prospector kit, which is needed for the hard diaries, is purchasable with the nugget at the nugget shop in the Motherload Mine. So we get to learn Motherload Mine. Pieces of the kit are purchased using golden nuggets obtained randomly through pay, mining pay dirt. The set costs 180 nuggets in total, which requires mining 6,570 pay dirt on average. The full set, when worn, grants 2.5% bonus mining experience. If the players completed the Virok Elite Diaries, they may use the four in place of the jacket to achieve the full set bonus by itself. However, it will not give bonus. Okay. These veins have a 33% chance of depleting each time an ore is mined, giving an expected three pay dirt per vein. Cleaning ores. After obtaining the pay dirt, the players can deposit into the hopper to begin to clean it. Pay dirt can only be dropped from inventory or deposited into the hopper. It cannot be banked. Once deposited, as long as the water is flowing, the pay dirt makes its way towards the sack, taking 8 seconds. Each ore has an equivalent a level requirement equal to the mining requirement. The hopper can hold a soft maximum of 81 items. Once the sack reaches capacity, it'll say it's getting full at this point. The pay dirt the hopper will not accept pay dirt until the sack is searched, and there are fewer than 81 items in the sack. The hopper does not allow two stacks of pay dirt from the same player in the waterway at once. Below are tables showing optimal orders of deposits based on a desired intensity level. Zero inventory spaces occupied for maximum efficiency. One occupied by a hammer and a gem coal bag for semi-AFK mode, and two for a hammer and a gem and a gem coal bag for most AFK. Golden nuggets can be obtained by searching the sack after cleaning pay dirt, which can, each pay dirt has a 2.74 chance of having a nugget. Golden nuggets stack and will be collected all at once when learning searching the sack. Once obtained, it can be used as currency at the nugget shop. Can I do the Virak tasks right now, the Virak mediums? I can. Can I do the hearts? I can. Can I do the elites? No, but I can do up to hard. I might do that while I wait for the watermelons. Because if I do mining guild right now, I'm, I'm mother load mine, I'm probably going to fall asleep. So I'm not going to do that. So let's do rock tasks and then I might go to bed. Okay, that was really fast. We finished the mediums already. It was so quick. Um, the hards, we're gonna do the hards now. We need a U sapling. Ooh, might not be able to do that. Let's see. 
Um, I hope I have a UC, but I don't know if I do. I have two. Oh my god, awesome. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of my thingies though. Um, on my trees. I'm gonna take my axe with me to Barak. I have to wait for it though. I had to pee really bad. <laughs> and I had to walk around and stuff because I was I was just dying and gotten up in like a uh, two two and a half hours, so we're gonna move on from this one. We're gonna go to I need 153 kudos. I don't really know how to get kudos. I should have a decent amount, right? Because I have access to... Bone... Bone... Um, Fossil Island. Which I should have at least 100. How many do I have? 78. Okay, I was wrong. This access to the ruins of Kambazal is granted after completion of the quest below Ice Mountain. You can find Baronite deposits while mining in this fallen city. They can be cracked open with a hammer at the Baronite Crusher for a chance to obtain, uh, uncover an ancient relic which can be donated to the curator Haig Helen. Oh, let me put this over here. Donating a relic for the first time awards one single kudos and 200 coins. One kudos? With every subsequent copy giving 100 coins. There are five in total, five kudos. That's kind of bad. Okay, let's go next. I think I did these already. Let's see. What case number is this? 45. 45 is done. 44 is also done. 37 is complete. I think 36 is that. What else? 22. Do the natural history quests. Okay, so we're gonna do all these quests for... I believe I've done most of them, so I think I can just talk to him. This guy, he should give me some stuff. I have some information for you. I have some information for you. I don't think I've talked to him yet on this. Uh, which quests have I done out of these? Demon Slayer, done. And Mysteries, done. I know I did that. A Tale of Two Cats. I don't think I can do that. Oh, I can. No, I cannot. Azeal Cult, I can't do that one. And eight of the Meyer Q. I know I did that because I did the other one. Making history can't do. Merlin's crystal I can't do. Observatory can't do. Priest and Peril did. Temple of Icov can't do. Can't do. What lies below? Can I do that one? I'm gonna keep this U sapling. I was gonna plant it, but then I was like, if the U sapling in the Varrock uh, Castle does not grow, I have to wait till I get another U seed. So. I'm just going to keep it and plant it if it dies. So we need Chaos Ruins and a Chaos Talisman. So now we're going to go to the closest teleport I can think of, which is the Grave Dig Site, and then go left. I remember doing this quest on R3 to get the Chaos Tunnels, I think. It's called. I don't know if that's a thing here, but go kill bandits west of the Grand Exchange. Okay. Where at? Oh, these guys. I know who they're talking about. I haven't done this quest in so long. It's been a while. Where is the Chaos Altar? Even is it in the in the wilderness? Because if so, then I can't do this quest. It is... What am I doing? <laughs> I can't do this. Damn. I don't know why I'm continuing. 
Yeah, I can't go to the wilderness. How else do we get kudos? Fossil displays. While doing certain activities on the island, you may encounter unidentified fossils. These may be cleaned and identified on the island or in this museum. The cleaned fossils can then be added to the fossil displays on the second basement floor, the lowest floor of the museum. Five fossils of the same type are required to complete a corresponding display. Completing a display, two kudos, or it's two kudos and an antique lamp. There are 36 total. Um, so I believe I have the one for the small. How do I get more? Unidentified. Um, tracking an herbivore. Purchasing, mining the boulder in the volcanic mine. Digging in the soil at the museum camp. Okay. Cut a yew, law, a yew tree until I get a log. Okay. Climb to the top of the rock church and burn the yew logs. I have to go and kill stuff in the stronghold security until I get a skull scepter. And then I'll have hards done after I get the yews and the kudos. So why not? Let's do that. So put that down. And then I'm going to put this up here. I should probably decant these because that will probably save me some space. I have five inventory spaces left over. I don't really need the attack potions and the strength potions and the regular anti-poison. These can go with two of these. These can go with this one. These can all go together. Okay, let's try that. Drop, drop. Use this on this. Drop, drop, drop. Why does it make it sound like I'm drinking it? I don't like that. No, I emptied it. We saved nine spots there. That's very nice. Oh, I can save more. There we go. I saved 11 spots. So let's now take my weapons. Oh, there's still two more here. Let's get one of these and one of these. All right, so the uh, right school half did not take me very long. It took me 24 kills. So not too bad. And then I wonder what the next piece is, how long it's going to take me. <laughs> going to kill flesh crawlers now. So, where are those right here? I tried to find a room, a room where there's like multiple instead of just one. It keeps telling me like, oh, just go to here, these ones. It's like, there's just one. I want to kill more than one. All right, that's what I'm talking about. 14 flesh crawlers for the bottom piece. Not too bad, not too bad. I was over here thinking it's like a 1 out of 500 drop rate or something, but then I forgot leagues is a thing. Love that for me. All right, now I have to kill Catabal Ponds. And then I have to kill Ankus. Two things that have killed a lot of hardcores in RuneScape 3. When you're low level, these guys hurt really bad. They hurt really, really bad. Can you stop attacking me, please? Thank you. Oh, is it because they lower your attacks? Your stats? Oh, multiple of them are attacking me. Is it like the ghouls, like when you hit them and one of them is low, they decide to all attack you? How they work? Yeah, they're lowering my stats. So we got the last piece and how many kills, let's see. 21 kills, so 24, 14, and 21. 
Pretty good, pretty good. Just need one more piece. I, I literally thought it was gonna take forever. I'm so happy it's not, but we still have to kill Ankus, so we will see how it goes. Shouldn't be too bad though. Someone's killing some of these guys here. Yeah, this is a much better spot to kill Katapa Pons because you don't have to worry about the spiders actually. I should have come here. I remember when I went back to RS3 after Necromancy came out, I was killing a lot of Ankus for Necromancy, so these guys. I'm pretty familiar with these guys. Yep, this is the place I would go to in this south northeastern corner to kill them. My second kill. <laughs> I got it my second kill. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Now we're going to invoke to teleport. And we're done. So now all we have left is the yew tree and the kudos. So we can mine at the dig site. I'm gonna get the dig site pendant actually. I do not feel like running that way. I got the bones, bronze spear. Oh, we can do the watermelons thing, the scarecrow thing. Uh, I need the hay bale. I need the watermelons. I think one of these, I think one of these episodes we will do our clues, but I kind of want to wait until I have like a bunch collected. And that means we will have valley mediums done. And then we need mining stuff for, mining mother load mine for, uh, Cards. What do we need for elites? Probably a lot. Oof. Magic tree in Felder Park. Yay. Who do you have to talk to? The squire, right? So we gotta talk to the squire for Felder and we gotta talk to the guy in Barak for his too. Okay, first of all, Barak will give me inside of the Varrock page open. I can get 30 battle staves a day. Let's claim some right now. Do I have to have the money on me or are they free? Aw oh, man, I need to pay. Okay, so I can get 30 battle staves. 10% um, to mine two ores at once up to Mithril. I actually don't need to buy bottle staves. Because I can get enough money from just alking rune stuff, rune drops. Oh my god, I can't wait for the Falador Shield 3. When in the mole layer with the shield equipped or in the inventory, there will be an indicator that shows that the mole shows the mole's location. And all I have left is the mother load mine. That's literally it. Okay, we did not get 99 attack today, but. We did do a lot. Do, do, do. I might do a birdhouse run and then go to sleep. Just so I can get closer to 74 Hunter. So we can do the birdhouse task. We didn't do that many tasks. Got like 600 points, but hey, I'm fine with it. Uh, oh, we're going to look at the dark totem thing. I wonder what that is. Oh, I got three granite moles too, by the way. And I got two dragon harpoons from worms. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Oops, that's the wrong tab. Goes in there. I don't really need the torch or the bug lantern, don't I? Do I? I mean, I don't need the cake. I can't use the mirror shield for anything, and I could always buy one if I need it. Don't need the Kadava berries, I can always get more. Ouch. Don't need the ashes, I can always get more. Don't think I need the rusty shield, rusty sword. 
Don't need beer. Don't need shears. All right, we're at 787. I need to get another bead so then I can get rid of those. I think these are taking up a majority of the slots. <laughs> uh, let's see. I also did not mine volcanic ash, and I should have on my trip. Did not think about it. That would have been a really good AFK thing to do. I was trying to like think of things that I could do that I didn't really have to pay attention to because like the fishing, I kept having to drop everything. That was kind of annoying on the iPad. And then Slayer, I had to kind of pay attention just in case I was getting low. And I also had to make sure that I was still constantly attacking so that my prayer was staying up. So I didn't really like doing that for when we were watching like movies or just talking. And then the sand crabs, every like five minutes I had to TP out and then wait to be re aggroed again. So that was kind of annoying. I literally did not think about mining volcanic ash. That would have been a really, really good AFK thing to do and I would have like thousands of them right now. But I didn't think about it. So it is what it is. And no magic seed. I got another U seed though. How do I dig here? Do I need a spade? Okay, so it's telling me that I should do Seleuceps. Type of mushroom found in the tar swamp requires 65 wood cutting to chop. You can receive mushrooms or in Mortmire fungus from chopping. I can also receive a Seleucep cap at a rate of 1 out of 100, which is used in making mushroom pies. It can also yield new moonlight and unidentified fossils fairly commonly, making chopping seleuceps one of the fastest ways to obtain fossils. Okay. So this, this is the strategy. You start here. Okay, okay. So we need an axe. And drop all this. I'm just preparing myself for tomorrow. So we're gonna get an axe, and then we're gonna get. I think I need armor and weapon, because they could spawn something, right? High hit points is recommended to ensure a full run, as tar monsters can hit fairly frequently. Do the damage taken an absolute minimum of 11 points is strongly recommended. It says the proper cap mushroom is not recommended unless the mud pit has been filled with nine bitter cap mushrooms. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna teleport. I'll bring some food, I guess. Or you know what I'll do? I'll bring these. There we go. And then I'll just use the mushroom to teleport me. And then it says, you go one here, chop the thick vines. Oh, I need a rake. So we'll go one, chop the act, chop the vines. Go down here two, go back, chop the vines, chop the vines, go to three. Clear the vines with the rake. Four, chop, 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 five, six. Okay. Let's try to do a run before I go to sleep. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Big red mushrooms. Oh, it's already out. So we're gonna go down. This way. Chop the vine. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, and then I can read more uh, about these fossils tomorrow. Yeah, I'm very tired and it is almost 2.30, so I'm hoping that I'll wake up at like 10-ish, maybe earlier, 
and um, get what I need to get done in the morning and then play some more before I'm probably going to cut it off tomorrow at like 6 so I can edit. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Have a good night. Hello. <laughs> it's a new day. I am done with what I needed to do for now. And I wanted to play for a little while. So I'm going to play for like the next two hours and do some stuff. I actually should probably turn on the light, but I like how cozy it is, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I just had some lunch and I was just chilling. I was talking to some friends and I was really excited to play again. So these are the fossils that I got last night while I was getting ready for bed. I was just like AFK woodcutting. I was checking my email and I saw that Munsta donated $20. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for that. It really means so much to me. And I really do appreciate all you guys' support. It's just incredible. So... Thank you so much. Before players can clean fossils, they must build the bench. Okay, so I have to take it to... Oh, I can use the specimen table in the Verrock Museum. They must use it on the bench while wearing leather boots and gloves in possession of blah blah blah. All these... Uh, they can give small fossilized limbs, spine, pelvis, ribs, or a skull. A set of these allows the player to replace them in the small display in Verrock's Museum's pal paleontology exhibit. Located at the bottom floor of the museum, below the natural history exhibit. I gotta sneeze. So we're gonna go to... Rock. Picasian Crystal. I don't know what that is, but... Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna play for like two hours, and then I'm gonna make dinner, and then just edit this video, so... There's another like two hours of gameplay that I'll be doing. I don't know how much that'll be in recorded content, but... Oh wait, I need inventory space for this. That would probably help, so I'm gonna do... Put this away, and these two away, and this away. This should be enough. Four? I guess I'll put the rake away too. Identify my fossils, please. We got ribs, we got a skull. We got a pelvis. So I wonder... Is it two every single time? Ooh, what's this? What? Small enriched bone. Wait, you can you can buy un unidentified fossils. They sell them at Mermaid's Tears. Okay, so what is this small enriched bone? Small enriched bones can be obtained by cleaning small fossils, or an unidentified, or by using small fossils or an identified small fossil obtained from Fossil Island, and depositing them in the mycelium pool. Players must add three pyrophosphite and three calcite along with the fossil to begin calcifying it. This is the prayer XP. What's pyrophosphate? It's dropped by monsters. And calcite? It's dropped by monsters. Okay. So I think I can only do one set. So let's take the spine, the ribs, and the limbs. I think it's down here. Oops. And take it where? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, there's more. Another pair of stairs. Plant fossil display. How do I know which one it is? Oh, small fossil. Am I done? Or are there more over there? Medium, small. There is a small over there. So I wonder how many of each there are. Let's see. In addition, after, after helping construct... Oh, I already got these five. I don't even know what I need pneumolites for. Okay, so there's 14. So we need 70. There's 12 mediums. Okay. Let's do... room crafting again. Wow. 
Why not? Let's go get some more. Oops. I have to press the up one, the upstairs. I can't wait to get to 2,000 total level. That's gonna be, that's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so we got some more. I also got these mus m fossilized mushroom things. I don't know what those are, but we're gonna find out. They came from the large ones, so I'm assuming that they're not part of the exhibits. But oh, well, maybe it's the foss the plant fossil display. Nope. Fossilized roots. I mean fossilized limbs. Maybe these ones? Let's see. Now we have David down here. Oh, I had one already, or maybe something else? Don't really know. Whoa. What is that? That's cool. I, fun fact about me, I love museums. When I was a kid, um, I used to not want to leave the museum. We went to the Sacagawea Lewis and Clark Museum underneath the St. Louis Arch. Um, and I wanted to read every single piece of information there was to the point where they were gonna close and I did not want to go and the janitor noticed that I was so interested that he got me a print out of all the information on all the walls. That was very special to me. I could not believe that he did that for me. It was pretty great. Um, I appreciated that a lot. So <laughs> I love museums. We, we've also been to uh, Washington DC and we visited all, most all the museums there, not all of them, but almost all. We spent one whole day, we walked 10 miles in DC and we went to so many museums in that day. Um, yeah, I love museums, so it's pretty nice. There's just so much information to learn and it's just so cool. But you know what's crazy is that I did terribly in, in history class. I did not really like history class at all. I guess I can't use these. Let's see, medium fossilized ribs, fossilized skull, small fossilized skull. Oh, because they're not in order. Fossilized stump. The stump, the branch, the roots, the leaf, and the mushroom. Oh, it's because I don't have the roots yet. Okay. I don't have the roots yet, so I'm going to have to wait on these. Okay, so let's go get some more. Oh, I can store it here. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Deposit. And withdraw these. Oh my gosh, I don't have to use bank space. Ah. Oh, that's so amazing. I love that. I need to get more though. I think I have a little bit more in my bank. I thought I had to go all the way back to Fossil Island to place my these guys, but I don't. All right, so I have the last inventory of stuff. Um, we're gonna take everything out of here out because it might be useful. Let me actually deposit them all and then take, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Take all these, so it's one set, this is one set, this is one set, and this is one set. Perfect. It worked out so well. Okay. So we have two sets of small, one set of everything else. This one's going to give me a lot, I think. Right, medium fossil. Might have to go back for the other medium fossil stuff. Because this was supposed to be a full set and it's not now. But that's okay. Okay, so we don't have that one. We don't have another medium, I don't think. Yeah. And then we have a large and two smalls. This one's so cool. I want to learn more. I want to see it. I want to see it grow. Let's see. 
What is it gonna be? Oh, it's the whole thing. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a big guy. What is it? What is that? I wish they had like, let me, tell me what it is. It's a mermaid. What's this one though? I don't know what that is. This one's cool looking too. It's a big skull. And it's like a conch shell. The less room crafting I have to do, the better. Perfect. 77 room crafting. And um, we're gonna check on our yew tree, actually. We're set at 127 kudos, so we still need 26 more, but that's okay. Let me get my spade, because I think I did not deposit it, as well as my rake. We might as well go on a farm run. Um, let's get the rake. Let's get a spade. Let's get some herb seeds, which I don't have that many of. Actually, I needed to get more. We can do limps. Get the yew tree just in case it died. Um, I might just combo these because one less inventory space, one less big space, the better. Um, we can just do snapdragons and cat and tie in. I'm gonna do quorums and catentines. Take those and take the ectophile, which is somewhere. I think I might put it here with my other teleport stuff so I don't keep it getting it lost. Um, I'm gonna put this in here and this in here. What did we have to do with the yew tree? Do you remember? Hey, my axe. Do you remember? Because I don't. Do you remember 21st of September? We just have to chop it and then dig the stump up for roots. Okay. Is it alive? It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. We love that. Ah, oh, 113k. Oof. Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. Give me that last bead I need. Oh, man. That would be another four bank spaces that I can clear. So then Hards was just the U tree and then Orlando for the 153 kudos, which we need to still keep collecting kudos for. Um, but that's okay. And then elites, Varok elites, we have make a super com po super combat. Ooh, I can do that. I need a super defense and a torso. Actually, I cannot do that. I don't have a torso. Can I do the summer pie? I can do the summer pie. I just need to find a raw summer pie somewhere. And then earth runes, I can do not, I cannot do that yet. Okay, so this one's done. I'm gonna plant another U because that was a lot of XP. Probably need the trowel, don't I? Oh no, I don't. Cool. I buy it. I cannot buy it. Okay, so it's gonna be a cooking apple. So it's a pie shell, strawberry, watermelon, and apple. Um, cooking apple, where do I get that from? Cook skilled spawn. Okay, and I think I still have strawberries and I know where to get a pie shell, so. You see, I was gonna go on a farm run and then I started looking at the other diaries and I was like, ooh. Uh, let's see, do I even have any pie shells? Pie, no, 
But I do have strawberries, I know that. I do not have strawberries, I did not realize. Um, <laughs> do I have apple? Oh, antidote plus. I'm gonna keep these just in case because last time I kind of screwed myself over by not keeping them, so I'm gonna keep them. Um, I don't think that I will be doing any more diaries at this point. I wanted to like go do mole, but I really want to wait until I get fouled or hearts. Let's see. Have I obtained all of my, I wonder, let's see, I wonder if I've obtained all of my task, like, um, diary set stuff. Explorer's ring is lumpy. Oh, let's go check the belladonna seed. You think it's done? You think it actually grew? You think? I'm not going to look at the time tracker thing. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going <gasps> to. Oh my god, it grew. Holy cow. Ah, oh, finally. Fourth time's the charm. Phew. I got poisoned. Huh? Why do I keep getting poisoned? Do I need anything? Oh, I need to wear gloves. Oh, BRB. I guess that makes sense since it is used for nightshade, which is poison. I don't want to poison myself by picking it. And I actually did three times in a row, but... Um, besides that, I think, do, do any gloves work? Void gloves work. Okay, cool. There we go. All hearts completed. Finally. All we have left for elites is to do all the quests, <laughs> which I don't even know. I think it was probably just the quests that I can do. And then um, the, what's it called? Why is it still here if I just did it? All quests completed and then I need the 76. Oh, I can do it right now, actually. I just need to make a water tiara. I wonder if it'll count. Let's try. I'll make a water tiara and then. Yeah. Let's see. What rank am I? I'm Mithril. Oh. Huh? What happened? Complete an elite task. What did I do? Combat achievements easy tier. What did I do? I literally just walked to the bank. Maybe it was updating? I don't know, but that was really weird. Um, water. Let's put this up here. I guess I'll keep this for now. I got a Hespora seed. We get to plant that again tomorrow. And then, oh, I can claim my rewards from Sage and Lumbridge. What does it give me? I wonder. So I need a tiara. And I need my water talisman. And then I can go back. Let's talk to the Sage. I don't know if it's in the main game or if it's here. That's not the sage. That's not the sage. Is this the sage? This is the sage. Collect items. No, no. Lunar of combat. You can claim your rewards from either Gomal or the sage in Lumbridge. Uh, can I claim some combat rewards? What is that? What is a Gamal's Hilt 1? 
Uh, 5% increased chance to receive an easy clue scroll. Three teleports to the God Wars dungeon entrance. Like a boss layer, unlock will now unlock. Allow players to have up to 40 boss kills when assigned a boss task. 100% warrior guild tokens. And one extra void knight. Ooh. Like a boss slayer. So they do have Soul Reaper, and I can get bosses assigned to me. Mmm. Me like you, me like you. I might do that later. Yeah, I literally all I did was I looked at my my task, my points, and then I got achievements completed. So I don't know. I don't even know what I did. You would tell me like the most recent one that I've completed. Barrows. All. Oh. Huh? Kill the alchemical hydro using only Turox. I never did this. I've never defeated Krill or Theater of Blood. I'm very confused. Why does it say I did that and I did not? What? Uh, am I bugged? I don't know what's going on. We did it. Oh, you don't have to do all quests. Okie dokie then. Very good for me. So we have completed our first full diary set. Easies, mediums, hards, and elites. Now I have Explorer's Ring 4. 800k runecrafting. And this teleports me to... The cabbage patch. Now I don't have to ever. Wait. Alchemy. Oh, it's high elk. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice. I get to bring this with me on my slayer tasks once a day. 30 free high elks and a teleport to this patch. That is amazing. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. We have completed that. How many points was it? It's an elite, so it's like 200. You know, I kind of want to learn Serachnus. But can I do that in an hour? Um, she has several attacks that she will occasionally use other than the standard melee and ranged attacks. Her melee attacks consist of smashing the player with her legs while she launches barbed projectiles as her ranged attack. Healing Strike. Her standard attacks will heal her on successful hits, indicated by a magenta hit splat. She heals 5 health for every successful melee attack, and 10 for every successful ranged attack, regardless of how much damage she actually deals, including zeros. Oh wow. Sticky web every 4 standard attacks, Serachnus will screech out hiss, shooting out a sticky web that leaves players bound for roughly 3 seconds, before moving a short distance away from where she was before attacking the player. Spawn- okay, so it's like a Rexor. Spawns. When Serachnus reaches 66% and 33% health, she summons two spawn of Serachnus per player. At level 68 that uses magic and has a maximum hit of 11, and a level 107 that uses melee and has a maximum hit of 113 or 13. Both have 30 health. I should be able to do her. Maybe I should be able to do this. Um, she attacks with melee when players are adjacent to her and ranged when they're out of melee ranged. It's advised to protect from melee or missiles accordingly as they can hit up to 31 if they are not protected against and also heal her. Her melee range is deceptively, deceptively large so you can enter her range when you're prepared to take a melee hit. She's weak to crush and has high magic and ranged defense. Okay, so good for me. Recommended to use a high strength bonus equipment and a crush weapon that can attack fast, such as an abyssal bludgeon. Try to eat food. Try to only eat food when bound by the sticky web so you don't waste time doing it when you could be doing damage instead. When 
she is killed, her minions will die off with her. She respawns after 10 seconds. Um, okay. So we are going to use an amulet of glory. We are going to get our amulet of glory. Put that on. Okay, slayer helmet. I'm not going to do that because I don't... It's not a slayer task. I'm just going to have to use my best. Missouri is what that ranged. Why is it saying the most equipment, most effective equipment for melee and then it's suggesting ranged armor? All weapons except for the scythe should be on their crush setting if available. If using Osmotan's Fang, it may be easier to on slash than stab. Especially if bringing a belate or ring, whatever that is. She only attacks with melee if in range or ranged if out of melee. If you're hit off prayer, she will deal heal 5 or 10. So we're going to use ranged armor and melee boots and melee gloves. I'm going to bring my regen bracelet. I don't have it. Uh, I don't think I can imbue it, can I? No, I need 87. Damn, I'm 82. 81. 82. My melee equipment I have is Carol's. So we're gonna do Carol's. See, I feel like wearing full melee would be better. But maybe because I hit so hard anyway, it won't matter? I don't know. And I'll just bring this and put it on crushing. What weapon do I have that's crushing? My Derox Great Axe is crushing. 72. 59. 62. Okay, so I'm bringing my Great Axe. See, I feel like I should just wear a full Derox, but... I don't know. We'll test one run with a ranged weapon, and then we'll test... Or ranged armor, and then we'll test one run with... Um... Melee. Let's put on my adamant boots. What else do I need? My ring. My ring can be, it doesn't really matter, right? I don't have berserker, I don't have any of these, so it doesn't really matter. So maybe I just bring my ring of wealth. It says for players without these items, the next best weapons are abyssal whip. I'll try one with the great axe. And then we're gonna need Super strength, super attack. I'll bring all three prayer bots, even though I probably won't need it. I'll bring these two. Death charge, what is that? Restore 15% of the cost special attack. Okay, I know. Um, then I'll just bring 10 of these and 10 of these. Let's try it out. I'm very nervous, um, but I think we can do it. I really don't think that Carol's is going to help me here, but we'll see what happens. So what does she drop? Let's see. She drops... Sriracha. <laughs> Sriracha. A jar of eyes, a giant egg sack, and a Saracnus cudgel. And I think... This is the thing that I have the recolor for. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? A knife to cut through this thing. Did I just use my axe for that? Right, here we go. Very nervous. What am I doing? Can I stop auto retaliating? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oof. Oh my god. That was nerve wracking at the end. 
The music does not help, that's for sure. No, I don't want to fight you. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> what the heck do I use this for? Tattered moon page. Wait, is that to recharge the... I can get a thousand coins. They can speak to Lagosia. Yeah, I don't want to get them anymore. Let's go there. I would like to stop getting the pages, please. Thank you. Alright, let's go back and then go to the bank. That was very nerve-wracking at the end, but it was a lot of fun. I want to go back. Okay, um, we're just going to do no prayer because we don't need it. We do not need it. And I'm going to do my... I always forget if it's Karamwan first and then Sharkies. But we'll see. Alright, let's go back. Whew. Honestly, the, the mage guy is kind of annoying. Maybe that's why I bring ranged armor. So I don't get hit by the melee mage guy as much with my melee gear. Okay, that kill was way better. I think, honestly, the first one was just me getting scared and not knowing when to change my prayers. Or like, forgetting to change my prayers. So I think this will go a lot better. As long as I change back to me melee, when I run up to her, it should be better. It should be easier. Yeah, this is a lot better. I just need to calm down and not freak out like I was before. Blue Knight Ore. Insect Repellent. I like the music in here, that's for sure. It's nice. It's always like the first time I do something, I get so nervous. And then I end up like messing up. Really? You're like 1 HP? Okay, thank you. Dragon Bones. Ooh. Dead. Dragon Bones again. I think Regen Bracelet would be so good here. I need to right level up my mage. I wonder if Whip is much better here. Well, I was gonna go to the bank to eat, but I guess I don't need to. Oh my gosh, so many Dragon Bones. Love that for me. Ooh, a grubby key. It's so easy. <laughs> like how I drank the super attack and super strength that I'm hitting like way less often now. Ooh, clue. Oh, weren't wasn't I gonna change my weapon? Oh well. Oh. <gasps> OMG. Is that one out of four? I hate that I can't train rain met attack on here, but it's okay. I still have a bunch of slayer to do. I need to find out where those black dragons are in the catacombs of Korind. Because this is the fourth of dungeon, so it's not here. And then the... It's not at Mount Korolum, because that's the slayer dungeon. It has to be at the Gorind Castle, but I could not find black dragons there at all. So I don't know where they are. Oof. This is kind of fun. I like this. Oh, it tells me how long this, the timer is. At the top right. Top left. Oh, I had a 60. That was cool. Oh, I don't have inventory space. I don't really need death runes anyway. I can just buy them. It's less I have to buy, but... Another one. She spawns too fast. <laughs> Doesn't give me time to like pick up drops. Oh, an elite clue. She dropped coins. Yippee for me. I keep changing my prayer too late. I figured I had enough time, but... They weren't wrong about her range being very far. <laughs> I did it again. I think once I just start running and I get out of the web, I should just switch to melee. Oh boy. I think I'll get to 25 kills and then I'll probably end this episode. Ooh, 88 mithril ore. Oh my goodness. I think one more kill and then I'll TP out. I could probably do one more kill. Another one. I gotta look at my...
achievement stuff after this. I think when I get regen bracelet, I'm gonna heal like so much less. It's gonna be great. So much mithril ore. Alright, let's look at this. Yeah, three egg sacs. What is that? Which can be opened with a knife while standing inside of a bank. Right click egg sac in the bank interface, then click empty for a hundred red spider eggs. Wait, so what is the one I have called? Blue egg sac. And it can be used on Sriracha. Oh, okay. To metamorphose into the blue attacking. Okay, so I gotta get... I can use it on Sriracha. So it's not on these. But that's really good. I need a knife. I love that for me. My herb lore is literally singing. Yes! <laughs> And go for another run, and then after this inventory is done, I will start getting dinner ready. I was gonna test it with the Abyssal Whip, I forgot again. <laughs> so I have the one to make it look like that. I like that. It's a pretty one. My favorite color is blue, so it works out for me. <gasps> oh, uncut emeralds. Thank you. It's nice that you spawn so quickly, but I wish it was like 15 seconds instead of 10 seconds. Because if you want to pick up any of the drops, it's like you have like two seconds and you gotta prepare for another fight. Why is magic always associated with blue? And melee is always yellow and ranged is red, I guess. I don't know. Like in usually most games. Mage is always blue. Mage is always blue. Melee is always yellow. And then ranged can either be green or red. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's because blue, like wizard. Like you think of like Mickey with the hat. He's blue. Usually wizards wear blue. Um, but melee yellow. Why is melee yellow? You know? That's like the whole concept of like... When you go to school, is the math notebook blue, red, yellow, or green? Same for English, same for history. Like, what colored folders did you guys have for each subject? I believe mine was yellow for history. Um, or maybe it was reading English. Um, and then... Math was red. Science was green. That makes sense because it's like, you know, nature. And then armor was blue. Maybe science? I honestly don't remember. It's been so long. You know what I mean? Like who, who designated those colors? And then made it like a universal thing across most RPGs. Who did that? I wonder how rare the other three drops are. The pet, the weapon, and the- well, I don't even know what the other one is. I have no idea what it is. I might look it up after these kills. Bum, bum, bum. 25 kills completed. Just gonna go till I finish this inventory. My prayer is running a little low because I wasn't doing a lot of hits. But I think we'll be fine. Onyx Bolt Tips. Very nice. Very nice. We're in two-hander. <laughs> oh, more food. Should be good for more kills now. Did my, did my eyes deceive me or did I just hit an 80? I think my eyes deceived me. Cosmic runes. Very happy with that. I wonder if spam clicking actually gets me out quicker or not. I think I wait until she like attacks me again and then I can spam click. It's a lot faster and less clicking. Just wait here. And when she attacks me, I go. There we go. Alright, so we finished with. 
34 kills. So what was the other drop that she does? Jar of Eyes. What is that? Jar of Eyes. Oh, it's just like a display thing. One out of 2,000? What are her drop rates? This is one... Oh, my stomach. This is one out of 384. One out of 20. One out of 2,000 and one out of 3,000. I will say I probably won't just kill her. <laughs> I know I said before that I was going to do like one boss until I finish their set. But one out of 2,000 and one out of 3,000 is a lot. Barrows was like one out of, what, 60? And it took me 200 kills. So I think I will do like a bunch of bosses like, you know, at once. And then when I get it, I get it. But probably do like maybe like 100 kills of each at once. So I think later tonight when I start the next episode, I'll finish, you know, kills it to 100 because I think around 100 is where I probably start getting bored and I want to change something up. Obviously, unless it's like a kill that like Jad or takes like 30, 40 minutes. I'm not going to do 100 of those in a row. But you know what I mean. <laughs> um, these were like a minute probably kills. Minute, minute and a half. So, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We did a lot this episode. We have... 3,770 points until tier 8. So this week, most definitely, that will happen. Also, 99 attack and 99 HP are very, very close. Probably 99 HP in the next episode since I'm going to be doing Seracnus a little bit more. Attack, maybe if I do some Slayer, that will happen. So don't know yet, but definitely more Seracnus in the next episode up to 100 kills, and we'll see where we are at at that point. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching this episode, day 26 slash 27, I think it was. Day 26 slash 27, this, that was this, that was this episode. <laughs> um, I'm going to end it here and edit what I have so far, and then go ahead and start the next day later tonight. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you Monsta again for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much everybody for the support and thank you for everything that you guys do. This has been so much fun and I'm really excited to be back and to be playing again. So I hope that you are too and I hope, I can't wait to hear about all of you guys' progress and I hope that you're having a good time as well. So I'll see you next time. Have a good night.